Hello everyone. Well, I finally found the paper pack that I want to go ahead and start my 2013 project life with. So I thought I would share it very briefly. I found it 50% off today at Hobby Lobby. I believe this one was released at the beginning of 2012, around February or so. It's called This and That Graceful. It's by Lori Whitlock and this is part of the Echo Park paper line. Um, I know my friend Heather is probably watching. She watches every single video. <laughs> um, just to let you know, they have another one that's called This and That Charming. And that one is for boys. This one is mainly focused on girls. Um, but This and That Charming is amazing. So literally everything I talk about in this video, from start to finish, from the papers all the way to the hybrid electric, electronic elements can all be found the exact same way as I'm describing for this particular paper line. Okay, so this is the This and That Graceful and what I loved about it is just the elements and the design is beautiful. So for example, here's the cardstock, um, cardstock stickers and they're nice and thick. I love the banners. Just the details are so cute and amazing and I thought a lot of these would be perfect for Project Life um, stickers for the 4x3s all the way up to the 4x6. They have these great borders and banner pages. They have these amazing cards that will fit into those slots perfectly. They even have stickers. So there's a sticker font in different colors, not just one, that comes in this package. And also sticker banners, sticker um, labels, and more borders. These are paper borders and rulers. And these are all double-sided papers as well. Has these cute little bingo cards. I guess I should turn them over on both sides so you can see them. I really loved this. This is for a nice subtle page, but you can see how it'll go so nicely into the Project Life sleeves. Love these circles. Cute little cards. And all of these are just perfect for my girls at their age. Have so many pictures with them, so that's why I chose to go with this paper line. But there's still enough browns and blues in it that when there's pictures of their dad, it'll still be fine. I wish you could see this one better. It's actually like a lined ledger paper. I don't know if that shows well in the video. Okay, so now I think we're starting to maybe repeat ourselves a little bit. But these are some really cute borders again. And the same cards again. So there's two um, of every single paper that you had already seen that I've already shown here. Okay, so again, the reason why I bought that particular paper line by Echo Park is because I had been searching through the Silhouette store and I found um, a designer named Lori Whitlock in here and I really love her designs. And so I stumbled across that paper pack at Hobby Lobby and here are some of the design elements that match that paper pack. So this is one that I had purchased earlier. Again, it has the same name, Echo Park, um, this and that graceful collection. And um, so I had downloaded that one and saved it because I thought this would be perfect for Project Life. And it's just an adorable design. Well, as I was searching for the matching embellishments for that paper line, I just typed it into Google because they have brads and they have chipboard pieces and things like that that I thought I might like to add in addition to the paper. When I did that, I stumbled across Jessica Sprague's website again, which I've been here before, but this right here caught my attention because here are 37 elements. And again, it's that same paper pack, this and that graceful element, and I had to do a double take at the price, $2.99 for 37 elements. 
I was thinking I had seen something wrong. These are not ready to cut. They are PNG files, so you do have to edit them a little bit, but not by very much. It's very easy to do. So that's what I wanted to show you today to save you some money. If I had bought all of these elements within the Silhouette store, it was going to be $20 for about 20 elements. And they don't have all of the elements in the matching paper line. Here they had 37 elements and she has two kits of these. So um, I went ahead and bought both of them. So that was about $6. And I get every single design, including this cute banner. I couldn't find this banner anywhere in the Silhouette store. So let me show you the difference and show you how that works. So here I have opened an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'm going to go into my library and right here, this one right here is the element that I purchased directly from the Silhouette online store. So there it is now inside of my document. Now I'm going to make this smaller and we don't have to do exacts here, but I still want it to be big enough for you to see when we print it out. Okay, so you see when you buy something from the Silhouette store that has a P next to it, let me go back. You See how this one has the letter P? That means print and cut. So it will actually print out that design and then let you cut around it. So I'll go back to here. So where this red line is, that's where the printer is going to cut. Now I immediately noticed a difference. This black line right here is pretty solid as soon as I shrink it. So um, it doesn't look exactly like the image on the paper. The image on the paper is a dotted line. Now notice what happens when I go to the ones that I downloaded from the Jessica Sprague website. Here's that same element. I bring it in here. We'll stretch it out to make it match about the same size as this one. Now you can see when I do that, this one tends to maintain its resolution better. Um, and so the design, it's not quite as blurred as this one is from the Silhouette Library. Okay, so this one from Silhouette is ready to cut, ready to go. Obviously, this one is not. There is no cut line around it. So how do you take care of that? Well, what you'll do is you'll go over to the Trace feature up here. Select Trace Area. So I'm going to select... Oh, sorry about that. Select trace area. And then you can see it kind of does this messy look. I take it off the high pass filter and I move my threshold all the way up. Now you see this yellow design? It practically matches this exactly. So at this point, I'm going to say trace outer edge. And now you can see we have two that match almost identical. So it really is worth taking the extra two seconds to go ahead and buy the cheaper elements from uh, the Jessica Sprague, those PNG files. And you can do this with any other paper collection that sells digital elements with PNG files. It's cheaper than going and buying each individual element for 99 cents from the Silhouette store. I mean, that's a really good deal, and I didn't mind purchasing it, but wow, what a difference to buy all of these for only $2.99 to get 37 images. So let me show you one other thing really quickly. Um, there is a word in here as well. I think it was the word beautiful. And I really loved the way it looked. Here it is. I'm going to show you how to take care of this one as well. Okay, so this is another digital design element that matches the paper line, of course. And I'm going to click trace, 
select trace area, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the high pass filter off, and I'm going to move the threshold all the way up. Okay. Now in this instance, instead of doing trace outer edge, I'm going to click simply trace. Now the reason why I did that is because in this instance, I want it to cut out the middle of the E, the middle of the A, the middle of the F. Let me separate these two so you can see the cut file. See with this cut file, it will cut out the middle of the E and the A and the F and the L. If I had done it the other way as I did these up here, let me show you the difference. Select trace area, turn high pass filter off, threshold all the way up. If I click trace outer edge, let's look at that difference. You see, it would have left these solid. And if that's the look you're going for, you can do that as well. It makes a great shadow effect. So um, that's the difference between trace and trace outer edge. So I hope this video today helps show you some more of the power of the silhouette and why I absolutely love it. And um, it's amazing how much you can save money just by doing a little bit of research. Okay, so I decided to cut this one on an off-white sheet of paper um, because of specifically what I'm going to be layering it on. I didn't want it to be white. So let me take these off. You can see the silhouette cuts around each one perfectly. So this one again is the image from the silhouette store. This image is the one from the Jessica Sprague website with the hybrid elements and the PNG files. Okay, so again when you put them side by side this one has a little bit more detail and clarity and let me show it to you here on this page. Isn't that amazing? So these are the cardstock stickers so if you run out of stickers nothing's more aggravating than trying to um, put a project together and you really love a sticker for example like these banners and then you don't have anything to match it again well now you can do those with the silhouette machine so you can replicate as many of these as you want it's great for card making I'm gonna be making a card later today so this is gonna be like a little mini series today to really show you the benefits of using the silhouette and how you can get design elements for much less. Now, just to um, review real quick, those design elements were um, $2.99 each, so it was about $6. The paper was on sale for $10. So I spent about $16 for an unlimited number of embellishments. I can make my own chipboard embellishments by just printing these out using some of my multi-matte medium layering it on chipboard, trimming it out, and I have my own chipboard stickers. The chipboard stickered sets are about $5 each, and those are hard to find like at Hobby Lobby or something, so you usually end up paying full price for those on eBay or scrapbook.com and those types of websites. So that can easily add another $10, $12 to what you have. Now the only additional thing I did buy was I did buy the matching Brad set off of eBay and that one was five dollars plus shipping. So I did kind of splurge on one element but being that I saved so much on this um, I guess total I've spent about twenty two dollars on the entire kit including embellishments and of any array that I want. Um, if I had bought everything, all of the images in the Silhouette store, and bought the chipboard and those other pieces, it would have been anywhere between $45 to $50. So you can see by using the digital hybrid elements from the Jessica Sprague website along with the Silhouette, you can literally save more than 50% on your project kits um, of those sets that you know you're just going to use over and over again because you just love the pattern paper so much. This is one of those kits for me 
and I'll show you how I'm going to use the other design elements as well. Thank you for watching.